Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to fulfill the promise that I made to you on one of my videos whereby I was telling you that we can utilize Holehe Python module for email open source intelligence on Maltigo. Maltigo is one of the good open source intelligence uh, tools used worldwide by either the hackers and data analysts as well as uh, U United States Department of Defense in the cybersecurity uh, sector. They utilize Maltego basically for open source intelligence. So in this case, we are going to show you how to use Holehe as Maltego transform. So without wasting this time, it's, um, I will show you where to get Holehe Maltego and I will also show you the installation wiki so that you can be able to utilize that by yourself and then make some play with it and then see some advanced open source intelligence or when it comes to the email addresses so now let's um let's remember that um Maltigo comes pre-installed on kali linux and parrot os and many other distros but you can install it by yourself but for now let's utilize what is actually here let me open up the terminal okay let me say one of the things that i i wanted to show you is to create a shorter scenario that you can find yourself seeking to use holohe because uh, let me say you have been using the harvester um let me clear up this so that we can go to Maltigo and then come up with Holehe as a transform so that we can see under what scenarios you can be able to use this uh, transform. You can install it on your, your, on your Linux like I did in the last tutorial that I was showing you this. So for now, it's time to use it on Maltigo. But in this case, let me use the harvester then let's pass d which is let's say i'm using vodacom.co.ls and then dash um b i want to search these emails through google and um let me pass this 500 so now we we will be getting all the email addresses associated with that domain and wherever you get these emails whether you have using the you've been using the fbi tool to get some facebook emails or uh, fb leak or any other tool to gather some email addresses so you can see what more websites this pe this person has been using this email because sometimes the emails can be used as a as a username in many websites such as facebook.com so now we have been using the harvester to get the the emails so the emails that look like the the people's email will be these ones so we can pick one of these email addresses and then paste it to Maltigo and utilize holehead as a transform so now for now let me um, Maltigo no splash no splash so we are going to to use Maltigo so that we we can be able to see that okay i i think i've messed up i've mis misspelled no splash so we need no splash because i can see this splash right here so i don't want that so let me use this as all right so multigo will open up for us and then so that we can be able to see now there you go we open multigo i will be able to show you how i did i added that transform because sometimes you need to create your own transforms so um if you want to add a new transform you can download a transform on github repository or wherever you you have got that uh, transform so that you can use it as a local transform so you can come to transforms and then add new local transform so it will 
uh, guide you on the implementation and how to use that uh, let me make a good example here let me see holehe maltigo yes holehe uh, yeah holehe maltigo so there you go this is the the installation wiki then for you to use this this is how simple it can be you write you, you just write this this is the username your username in um, in in petriever.com and dash holehe this is how to write it and you will just click this so that you can be able to to find email address as the as as multiple ones so the transform set you just leave it like that so here because my python 3 uh this is the command i just type python 3 Hey, holehe multigo.py. So you don't necessarily need to do this directly. If you have Python 3 installed, you can just type Python 3 without user to bin to Python 3. You just type Python 3 from here to here. So this is how you will be able to use this. So the path of multigo for me. I just transferred the folder of Holhe Maltigo to my etc folder. Here it is. So I can be able to show you. Let's see. I just transferred it, it right here. Let me see. Holhe Maltigo Master. So there you go. You can be able to find it right here. So for now, let me let me um Let's go a little bit down. So now it's time to enjoy uh, how to use this. So for now, let me open up my Maltigo and open up the new graph here. So for, let me, yes. So we can pick up an email address and then put it right here. One of those emails that I found using the harvester. So let me come here and then um, let me pick this one up. I will also test with a Gmail account so that you can be able to see because I'm going to utilize my own uh, busy uh, uh, email. So now let's come here. Let's paste this email right here so we can try to to hold it here. There you go. Then let's wait a while so that we can be able to see whether this Python script will work for us. So let's wait a while. If ever we don't get some information, then we'll find the, the, the other email alternatives so that we can be able to see which other websites has this person used. Right. Thank you, God. So we can see that um, this person has got an Office 365 uh, dot com account using this email from photocom and as well as eventbrite that might imply that uh, this person might be using microsoft teams when they do their formal meetings because um sometimes if you use this google like microsoft uh, has got that capability to to use if you use this as a credential sometimes it might imply that you use microsoft projects i mean products so for now you can see that okay this person has used this email on these two websites apart from many other websites that might that they might have used this email from so maybe let's say you it is against the company policies to utilize the company email on the um, on on your personal uh, on on your personal project, and we are doing some open source intelligence to investigate whether this email, uh, whether this person has used this work mail to different and malicious websites sometimes. So this is how you might be able to get that. So let's um, let me delete all this. Okay. So now let's use my gmail account so you can be able to see okay let me come here and an email address all right so 
we have got this email let me search bzh27 at gmail.com now let's see to how many um, websites has this email been used so if you plan a brute force attack it can also help you in order to because you will have find the um, if suppose you find the password on one of these websites that this person has used this so you can see that right it's found on this code it's found on many websites such as github so it will tell you even here that okay maybe someone has used it on my uh, on the point videos or uh, you can see that it can be it was used on wordpress i don't know what was i doing if it was me maybe someone did some email spoofing so this is one of the things that you you need to to know so for that matter let me let me uh let me uh, close that and if you you want let me say you so you also investigate um whether your email might have been spoofed on on the on the malicious websites on the websites involving illegal activities all that this is what you you need to be doing when you do the email open source intelligence and if you are happy with the this tutorial, please share, like, and subscribe, as well as comment. That will make me make more content on, on YouTube. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial.